<laughs> so, uh, no, we came into your life in Cuenca, remember? Mm -hmm. We asked you to meet up with us because we were exploring. We were fans of the show. Yes. Uh, yeah, you can ask her the question. Okay. Right? That actually works. So, how long have you been traveling? <laughs> as well, long as you, you did. Look, you got to remember, look at the yeah. camera. Okay. Introduce yourself. Oh. Okay. okay. I'm Lolita Markovic. I am a citizen of the United States, but I lived in different countries before too. I was born in Lithuania. Uh, for the past 22 years, I lived in Portland, Oregon. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we got used to good coffee and good beer. And I'm Tim Barnhart. and. Uh also from Portland, Oregon, been living there for the last 30 years. Uh, Lolita and I have been together for about nine years and we've been traveling for the last year. I uh, retired a little bit early uh, and uh, we decided that instead of staying in the States, we were going to explore the rest of the world. Uh, we, we've taken uh, extended vacation uh, every year since we've been together and so we just decided that we're just going to travel for as much as we can for the rest of our lives. So, last December, it was December 12th, 2017, Tim and I embarked on our adventure after selling everything we had, everything, and... Uh, but we didn't sell, we gave away. We gave away, yeah. We packed our two 40 liter backpacks with little day packs with absolute necessities. And we left Portland for Nicaragua and decided to stay for a little bit in Matagalpa for me to study language and explore the area. We have been to Nicaragua before and we really liked it there. So we thought a little bit higher in the mountains, it's a nice area, we would like to stay. So that we stayed in Matagalpa a little more than a month um, over the Christmas holidays. Yes, it was December, January, um, very early on it was evident that this place is a little a rough and tumble for us because it's yeah. not the infrastructure is not that developed. Very sweet people, we liked the nature, we liked the climate, but the infrastructure was a little lacking. Politically, it was stable at that time. Yeah. At that time. But our last bus ride <laughs> during the holidays was absolutely an eye opener. It was a chicken bus, old school bus with people piling on top of each other, kids, dogs, in the and the sacks. And we've been to many countries and we've been on many different buses, <laughs> but that one probably was the. That stood out. That was, that was probably the most packed bus I had ever been in in my life. I uh, gotta yeah. say, it, it was a new record, personal record for us. So we decided that we will move on. And started looking for the cheapest tickets because we are on the budget. We, I'm not retirement age yet. Tim retired, so we have limited budget. And I need to mention it now before I forget. Surprisingly enough, people say travel is very expensive. We, when we travel, we're under budget, and it's really limited. We travel cheap. We don't have extra stuff. We stay in Airbnbs, travel by buses mostly and yet we live very comfortably on the road mm -hmm. so the yeah. cheapest ticket was to Cartagena so we decided that next comes Colombia people ask why not Costa Rica why not Panama we decided that it's not really our interest no we we felt like uh, Colombia Cartagena especially was at that time looked very exotic, it's, and it, it is a very exotic place. It's a very touristy place also, a lot of tourism. So we flew to Cartagena, 
and started falling in love with Colombia. Really, it was a very fast process for me. It's an eye opener. It was everything that was not what we read, what we saw on TV, and it yeah. does such a disservice to this beautiful country. So we stayed for a little bit in Cartagena, but we knew we don't want to stay there for a long time. It's too it's just it's hot. Well, it's, it's packed, it's a lot of tourism, it's beautiful to see. But it's something to see. Yeah. I would, it's a vacation place. It's a yes. vacation place. And it's Absolutely. very Caribbean also, I have to say that it's beautiful. A, um, very colorful, lots of really delicious food. Um, so, so then from there, we went to Medellin. And Again, it was the reason was we wanted to stay longer because Medellin is on the map. For it's on the many list. people, it's on the list. So we read a lot of blogs and saw videos, and we decided hmm, that would be interesting place also to experience. But how we approached it, we rented a studio apartment in a good yes. area. It was in Laureles. Yeah, it was near Laureles. It was right on the outskirts of Laureles, and great. Lolita enrolled as pretty much a full-time student at that yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, and the. What was the name? Great school, the Columbia Immersion. Columbia Immersion um, Language School in uh, Los Olives. Yes, it was good experience. I think I highly recommend it's an it. It's amazing city. It's the city it's so is modern. fantastic. It's modern. Its people just blow your mind. Yeah. Paisas, as they call mm -hmm. them, they're very, very kind, very interesting, very curious. We constantly heard why, why Colombia because people still think that we are a little cautious of so there's like there was really it was very fortunate to go to the language school though i wasn't a student but lolita was able to go on outings where um, we took tours you experienced uh, different parts every of Medellin. all the different barrios of medellin we went with the group and we they spoke spanish of course the whole time it was part of the educational process to get to know all the different areas and all the diversity within Medellin. Yeah, it, that was an eye-opener and I really think the city can be an example in urban development for the whole world, in my opinion. Yeah. The public transportation, the infrastructure, the healthcare, well, la, 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 la. Yeah, it's, it's off topic. Amazing. And we went to Bogota, of course. It's a must. Um, yeah. yeah, Bogota was a, it was, mm, huge compared to Medellin's a big city but Bogota was just massive uh, we did stay in a better area there but there's parts of Bogota that you, you wouldn't want to go to we, we have like always it. we have always been um, open to public transportation we will take the bus system anytime we can anywhere we can um, that's how you really get to know the culture but there were some spots around Bogota that it's just like you stand sketchy, out. Sketchy, sketchy. Yeah. But the but, culture, the opportunities in Bogota, I personally liked it. I thought the food lot scene. Of opportunity. Food scene was in incredible. Food scene was a, right where we stayed, right near the planetarium. It's world class. It's was, absolutely world class. It was fantastic. Yeah. We're also very close to museums. I love the museums. I uh, also had the uh, uh, Cyclovia. Um, which was where on, on Sundays they would shut down the main roads and people would walk and ride bikes and roller skate and that was impressive too. Just How long were you in Bogota? About two weeks. We, um, we also traveled ar around Bogota. We took trips. We went to um, There's a Salt, Salt Cathedral. I don't it's remember the name of the Massive that city. underground salt mine. Salt mine. Yeah, so they it's very the cathedral in it's an interesting. Place. Can't remember the name of the town right now. Off so the top of my it head. starts with C. But it's also we we not only went to cathedral, we explored the town a little bit and saw how these towns around Bogota feel. After that we decided to go to south um, Popayan. To more south part of the country to Popoyan. Thank <laughs> you.